Hey guys, welcome back to Four Oats Crafts. So today I've got a wall art project for you. I'm going to show you step by step how I made it. So join with me and let's get started. I went to the internet and spent a lot of time researching wall art, getting some ideas, getting some designs, and uh, looked on Pinterest and internet uh, images and just saw a lot of art out there that was uh, based on uh, symmetrical wall art and also like mountain peaks and that kind of thing. And I decided I wanted to do something different. So art that, uh, you know, reflected a, a, a positive message. So I came up with the, the idea of the two hands uh, clasped together and uh, so I hope you enjoy this project. I'm going to show you step by step how I made it. So thanks for watching. Alright, in this first clip you can see that I'm just getting my boards uh, kind of laid out, getting my idea laid out on top of the baseboard and I used some uh, clip art I got from the internet to kind of guide me and use that for the model and I'm doing this on a piece of plywood which is two foot by two foot by half an inch uh, thick and then the individual boards that I'm using for the hands uh, are one and a half inch wide, three quarters of an inch deep, and four foot long. And I end up using about 12 of those. Uh, you can buy those at your home improvement center. Just make sure you pick out ones that are really in good shape and are, are good and straight. So the objective here is getting this the, the set of hands um, uh, centered on the board and then we're going to get those uh, uh, painted and tapped down and then once we get those in place then we're going to work on the rest of the art kind of around that. Okay I used the um, compound miter uh, saw for probably 90 percent of this uh, project. You could do this by hand but you can get uh, really precise cuts with the miter saw. Uh, you just got to be careful with it and you got to also kind of keep an eye on which side you're cutting make sure you're cutting uh you know understand where the waist side is and the piece you want to keep for uh, some cuts that could that were irregular and couldn't be done on a miter saw i had to go over to the uh, band saw and it came in very handy for cutting those uh, you know smaller areas out uh, cuts that were a little bit more uh, irregular. Okay, in this clip I'm just going ahead and putting all the pieces together after I've cut them. I'm going to do a dry fit. Just make sure, make sure everything looks symmetrical and in place. And then in a little bit I'm going to uh, uh, stain these and then I'm going to glue them and I'm going to nail the uh, hands uh, in place and you'll notice as I'm laying these out that some of the boards are going to be sticking over the edge and that's okay for now because later on I'm going to come back with the uh, table saw trim those off All right, in this scene, I'm just taking some 120 grit uh, sandpaper and uh, giving this each board a little bit of a light sanding, especially around the edges. And this is going to get prepared for uh, the stain. Before I uh, glue the and nail the boards down for both of the hands, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stain uh, the pieces for the black hand, and then I'm going to also stain the pieces for the white hand. After the wood slats have uh, dried, uh, and you'll notice I didn't put any uh, stain on the bottom of these boards, I'm going ahead and spreading out some wood glue. 
and uh, then I'm going to come back with my nail gun and go ahead and attach these hands in place first. I use one inch brad nails and you don't need to use a whole lot of nails to uh, hold the bores down. The glue is going to help keep it in place eventually. hands are already attached to the plywood and they're in place I'm just gonna go in here and uh, bore piece by piece I'm gonna go ahead and measure my boards out and cut them on the miter saw to make them match it's pretty much like putting a puzzle together just got to be patient with it and make sure that you uh, measure twice and cut once and so I measure these pieces out I'm going back to my miter saw and cutting out each piece Again, making sure that I measured them properly, that I'm uh, cutting on the correct side of the line, making sure I understand which side is the waist side and which side is the side I want to keep. And again, I'll go to the uh, bandsaw for those cuts that I can't get with the miter saw. And a lot of times the bandsaw can make some uh, really small cuts that I can't do otherwise. Okay, now that I got all the uh, rest of the pieces cut out, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start dry fitting them. And uh, I didn't show this uh, previously, but I did go ahead and use some dark Danish oil uh, for the, these remaining pieces. So just basically dry fitting here, getting ready to attach them to the plywood. Okay, once I got the uh, boards uh, dry fitted like I want them, I'm going to go ahead and apply some glue and just go ahead and put them in place and tack them down with the uh, nail gun. Again, I've already stained these uh, boards with uh, some dark Danish oil to give it a little bit more contrast. Okay, so remember those pieces that were sticking out beyond the plywood. Uh, so now I'm taking those back to the uh, table saw and really carefully just uh, going along the edges and uh, trimming those pieces that were sticking out and uh, just you know cleaning this up uh, before I uh, put on those outside boards. Now you'll notice that there are some gaps on the ends all the way around and what I'm going to have to do is measure each one of those and then cut them lengthwise on my table saw to make those pieces fit. Okay, so here you can see I've already cut those, uh, pe those pieces of board out on the table saw and I went ahead and just stained those with a white color to give the frame a little bit more contrast and then I'm going ahead and gluing and attaching with the nail gun. Okay, for this final step uh, I'm going ahead and adding a uh, frame around the wall art and uh, I had some one by four so I, I took those and ripped those on my table saw to a two inch width and then I used the black stain went ahead and stained these boards I also cut a 45 degree uh, bevel on the ends and then once the the stain had dried I came back with the uh, the nail gun and did the final assembly work so one final thing, one final tip I would suggest is uh, make sure that your uh, plywood is completely square before you start doing this. Um, you really can't tell from mine, but I, I did notice after I put all this together that a few of my horizontal boards uh, uh, were not exactly uh, level or square with the uh, top edge. Again, you really can't notice it that much, but just make sure when you're putting those boards on and gluing them down and nailing them that they are square with your plywood. The other thing were the, you know, showing the nail heads, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think it looks okay, but I think since this is wall art, you could get away with just, uh, you know, simply gluing the boards down and in place and maybe weighing them down. The glue should be adequate to hold them on there. 
Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed this project, and uh, if you do like it and want to see uh, more videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I've got uh, several uh, woodworking videos out there now that you would probably enjoy, so please go check those out. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.